Hello and welcome back to another episode of The More Minute. Today I want to talk about how customer success managers can be helpful and be useful in this current trend of co-creation. So being able to increase the time to market and create solutions that are more customized and unique for different customer sets is incredibly powerful. And doing that with co-creation is helping companies really bring value to customers. So co-creation can happen in lots of different ways. It can be companies working with their actual competitors. And there's this great Deloitte study that goes into companies like Intel and Apple and IBM who are all partnering together or Apple Pay and MasterCard. These companies could have traditionally been thought of as competitors, but they're choosing to come together, co-create solutions that benefit both of them. So it can happen with competitors, been with academia, it can happen with governments, and I think most importantly, it can happen within the ecosystem. So working with business partners or resellers of a solution to come together to co-create or create a new spin or twist on an existing product with something that's more relevant or customized to a specific industry. So the benefits of co-creation are so many, but the main four that Deloitte really covers is this increased time to market in a world where everything is moving faster and faster and people are becoming more and more experienced and therefore have higher expectations of digital and how things should work in a digital economy. And this is something I talked about in my interview with Tim Reisner about people's expectations uh, increasing during 2020 given COVID and the way that this has indelibly changed not only customer success, but our general way of life in many ways. Also, co-creating allows you to do risk and cost sharing. So when you're joining forces with someone else to create solutions, it really helps you mitigate those risks that you're taking because you've shared them not just with one company, but with one company and another entity as well. Co-creating with ecosystem partners, with competitors, with academia or government also helps you have access to a more diverse skill set. Therefore, you have different people with different points of view, different mindsets coming together to create solutions that are better than one entity could by themselves. And finally, this helps with co-branding, really helping you and whoever you co-create with to increase your brand awareness into the different realms where you may or may not have an existing footprint. So co-creation, I can't even say it's the wave of the future because it's the wave of the present. A Deloitte study found that 57% of European companies have already rolled out or are formally rolling out at least one co-creation pilot. So testing out this idea of collaborating and understanding that when we work together, we can do things that we cannot do alone. So given that co-creation and working with ecosystems is not slowing down anytime soon, so where do customer success managers fall into this new world of co-creation? I believe that customer success managers can be even more effective now when you're dealing with a co-created solution. Because customer success managers can really display the value that comes from the collaboration and they can help understand themselves and then share with the customers why this brings more value to them. It's really the one plus one equals three model. Being able to leverage the strengths of both entities or the multiple entities that have come together to co-create the solution. However, with great opportunities, there's also challenges. And customer success managers are often called the orchestrators. They have to work within multiple different departments and throughout multiple different stages in a customer's life cycle to help them be successful based on what that means for both the company and the customer. Now, when you add in another or even multiple entities to that, it can be even more challenging for a customer success manager to balance. But with the correct boundaries, 
roles and delineations, I think customer success managers are really in a unique position to be able to balance and orchestrate between multiple entities and also share customer feedback with the multiple entities can help you continue to increase the value and help you continue to integrate in ways that matter to your customers. And I think that can happen even faster and even better when you're working with a co-created solution. I think seeing the ways that companies and entities and even people from different sectors are coming together and bringing cool, unique solutions that neither of them could create on their own is so exciting to see. And being a customer success manager, getting to support those solutions and helping it really become successful not only for the customers but also for both of the entities involved. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to sharing with you on my next more minute so stay tuned.